Hello everybody, this is Tim from Boatshare Drop Brokers on board this lovely Bavaria 32. I thought I'd bring you a nice feel-good boat today and I think I have in spades. She's exceptionally clean, smells great and most of her, if not all of her, really looks virtually, if not actually new. So lovely, lovely boat. But let's take you around and you can judge for yourselves. So as we come down the companionway, you can see that we've got a handles port and starboard here, great for holding on to. We've got two more handles down here. We've got a lovely grab rail around the, the galley here as well too. And as we make our way forward, we'd be using probably this uh, this uh, handhold here or the bulkhead straight to the compression post there so uh, really plenty of things to hang on to as we're crashing around in a seaway lovely shaped stairs on the companion way there so three steps coming down we've got the isolator at the bottom and it's a one-handed affair although it is a good old tug which is good because it means it's nice and sturdy and secure to open up into the engine room and there we go on strut so the uh, the the steps come up nice and easily we've got the engine sitting in the middle here looks like an exceptionally nice and clean engine room good installment as well we've got uh, re real good access and visibility da visibility down underneath the builds there to see if we've got any coolant or oil drips which it looks like we haven't which is great good access to the uh, the salt water pumping pillar here good access to the pulley belts as well good access to the coolant and uh, in general we can see and get to everything we need to we've got the dipstick we've got the uh, the the filler there so nice installation and in the uh, starboard aft cabin we've got a nice big uh, uh, hatchway here to get into the starboard side of the engine and down on the port side here we've got a smaller watertight hatch from the heads compartment so access from all areas which is great so let's close the lid on that one-handed very nice and easy pulling back quite strongly yes so strongly though so you need to be a little bit careful and we'll just uh, draw back a bit and look at the general area so you can see we've got a nice uh, big lobby area here the floor looks lovely we've got uh, several hatches in the floor here which give good access down to the keel bolts and the build that's a quick look so you can see we've got nice shiny keel bolts there and a very nice bilge as well and that access runs all the way forward to the compression post there so brilliant for those uh, those uh, keel bolts and bilge checks and as you come down the companion way, the first thing on the right hand side here is the door. So let's have a quick look in here. And this takes us into the aft cabin. So lovely area, not a reasonably wide door, reasonably tall as well. And that's, uh, that gives you a nice uh, entrance into a nice lobby area here. So we can sit down here, pull our fowlies on, off, etc. All our wellies and all the bits and pieces. Uh, we've got a fuel tank isolator here and a, a, a heating, a warm air heating inlet there. Nice cupboard on the outboard side there. So that's a starboard side with a window above. We've got uh, two open windows in this uh, aft cabin and we've got uh, blinds on all of the windows which is great we've got a port light here to the uh, starboard aft side of the boat which is lovely so we've got a nice view out there you can see the water just what I like and if I take a seat on uh, on the seat uh, we'll look back and you can see obviously as with all uh, aft cabins the uh, the the head height in here is compromised by the molding of the cockpit above but that's okay because generally you'll just be sleeping in here and as you can see we've got a lovely long wide bed really really wide if you look under here now that the the head height under here is compromised a bit better towards the head end but uh, generally speaking plenty of room in here for certainly a single person would be absolutely fine a, a couple you'll probably find i think a head here a head here and shoulders underneath there generally speaking but if you're okay with a low head height that's absolutely fine storage underneath the fuel tanks underneath there as well we have access to the steering gear in there too so all really well thought out and quite a conventional layout here's a uh, the access to the starboard side of the engine which uh, just nestles behind the door as well so good for uh, access there and your engineers should love you for it and if they don't give me a shout but uh, yeah a really nice aft cabin but let's move forward into the galley so as we come out i'll just uh, step back a tiny bit and you can see we've got an l-shaped galley so the first thing we find is the sink here We've got a nice big uh, freezer or fridge unit here, nice and clean as well. We've got more work surface here, which doubles up underneath as the two burner cooker, which is great, all nice and clean as well. And this does give, this does give you a really nice, strong uh, work surface as well. Here's the cooker underneath, uh, nice and clean again. I'm not sure if it's ever been used to be fair, but uh, all ready to go by the looks of it and locked into place, although it is gimbaled. The, uh, so really nice area. So you're in here, you can probably brace in here if you need to really nicely. The only compromise is, of course, if you want to get into the, ca the, the cabin here or out of the cabin, you're going to be disrupting the chef, whoever's in there. But that's just one of those things on boats. But uh, the uh, the upside to that is lots of uh, it really nice and easy to pass all the empties and the uh, the fresh teas and the empties, the cleans, the dirties backwards and forwards from the uh, cockpit up there and also the uh, the uh, saucepans of baked beans, etc., etc. Very good. 
Here's a view forwards from the companionway, and I think you'll agree it is absolutely lovely lovely we've got we have light wood we have light upholstery which is an upgrade i believe and we have uh, light headlining as well so just uh, oodles of light flooding in we have four opening windows we have an opening hatch there as well the windows all have blinds the hatch has a blind and, a, and uh, an insect screen as well and if you look at the starboard side you can see just uh well it just looks new doesn't it and it feels great we've got this uh, lovely leathery feeling and we've got the uh the shelf behind the shelf above and the locker above as well lots of stowage stowage behind stowage underneath as well lots of it which is fantastic over to the port side you can see we have we've got a, a linear seat as opposed to an l-shaped seat again stories beneath stories behind shelf shelf and cupboard as well really really lovely in the port aft corner we have got the the nav station a bit smaller as it's a, a newer a more modern one but uh, there's a bit of room in there for all your bits and pieces your spare keys your uh, dividers your compasses your uh, erasers etc uh, plenty of room to sit there and do your chart work a little bit of a smaller area fiddled facing aft but that's not too much of an issue but some people don't like it but looking above that you can see we've got uh, the heater controls we've got the vhf we've got the stereo we've got some electric bits and pieces the main electrics panel and a tv there on the on the after bulkhead how very nice is that nice area and if you just don't want if you don't want to use it as a chart table or a nav station very nice and handy as a sideboard great okay let's open this door see where it leads us so it does lead us into the heads so there we go nice and easy and as with the uh, the galley great for passing stuff up and up and down here this is great for popping to the loo etc in your wet fowlies you're not dragging all the moisture and all the uh, muck into the saloon you're straight down the companionway into the head which is brilliant as we go in i'll just come in and close the door behind me and uh you can see we've got a big wet locker behind the head, which is brilliant news. That's somewhere for it all to go and drip dry. We have a proper lovely shower mixer unit there, so we can have a nice shower here. The shower head comes away and fits up here, and then everything will disappear down through these slats and away forever. We've got the, the manual head, which is in the port aft corner facing starboard forward. In this locker here, we have got, if I just open it up, it's like we have the holding tank. And we have an opening window above us here, and in the port forward corner we've got a lovely sink, nice work surface, handle here very thoughtfully put in, uh, a, a fiddle shelf here, more fiddle shelves in there but inside a cupboard, nice modern mixer tap as well, and storage underneath. What more could you want? Absolutely lovely. Right then, so let's exit the uh, head and make our way forwards to the forward cabin. Here we go, open the door there, and hey presto, lovely thick looking door I have to say, and a uh, nice wide door as well, tiny little bit of a duct to get in, and uh, once we're in we can see we've got this uh, really lovely forward cabin, it is nice and light because we've got this hatch here, which we can open up uh, again with the insect screen and uh, blind, and uh, we've got a lovely wide, lovely long bed, we have a, a lobby here to get changed, if you close this main door we can sit on the bed and get changed, Store storage drawers underneath, we have a hanging locker to uh, port, although that, that, this one is shelved out this one is actually an actual hanging locker to starboard and you can see we've got uh, fiddle shelves port and starboard as well really nice space to sleep or exist for a while and you can see the upholstery this is this is bare but it looks lovely and clean it's really really lovely and soft and uh, the after cabin i didn't mention has got uh, a double mattress in there which is absolutely fantastic and there's a view aft from the forward cabin and i think you'll, you'll agree it is a very nice view too so this has been Tim from Boatshare Drop Brokers taking you for a tour around the interior of this Bavaria 32. Hope you uh, can appreciate just what a lovely place it is to be. More than anything, I hope you've, you've appreciated the tour and enjoyed it. And we hope to bring you lots more in the future. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a fantastic day.